All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? We're going to do a whip and chat today with Diamond Art Club, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right, draglins are hanging out, reading some books. Cats just going, what the heck are these guys doing? All right, so Diamond Shape Square, 22 inches by 43 inches. 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters. 53 colors in total, including two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. And they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. And anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. Okay, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful time. Yeah, I think I'm on this like pin symbol here. Yeah. So 3826. Okay, I'll just get that out. So basically draggling's foot, a marble floor, just basically filled in, and cookies. What's going on here? <laughs> okay. Alright, getting closer to filling this up, <laughs> this section. Hopefully your crafts and other hobbies are going well. And we'll just hang out for a bit. Yep, it's like it was a color. Ampers, get her done. Alright. So, yeah, Draggling's foot. Let's fill in a bit here. This is just a few symbols. Yeah, kind of confetti kind of style. Okay, let's make sure those actually landed in there. Okay, cool. Uh, I work again this afternoon, and then uh, all weekend. <laughs> so, see how that goes. Yeah, it got a little bit busy yesterday. Yeah, so I guess yesterday we are talking about canvases and uh, dust bunnies. Just decided to work on uh, the colors of life from uh, Dreamer Designs. Yeah, oh, I'll probably be able to show it too good. Yeah. So, 80 by 60 centimeters. 31 and a half inches by 23.6 inches. I don't believe this is uh, no longer available from Dreamer Designs. I haven't looked at on the website recently, but yeah, I'll work on this version next. Dreamer Designs, but that won't be for a while. So, but I did find it. I knew I had it. So. It's not a diamond art club, so. <laughs> I like switching it up every once in a while, so. That's down the road. Let's see how this goes. I'll just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'll wait a while until I decide what canvas to work on, and then I just kept mulling over it. And <laughs> yesterday I was like, yeah. It's going to do the colors of life after this one. I've got a long way to go, so. <laughs> but yeah. Kind of another canvas to look forward to. And I did end up getting uh, those canvases that I mentioned before. Diamond Art Club. Here. Doing like show and tell today. 
I didn't open the box and scare the crap out of my parents, so I, did, I didn't mention it. <laughs> ah, what's with the doorbell? Uh, okay. So I haven't even opened the box. Kind of got last night. Shortly after supper or whatever. Uh, the sailing boat with sails. Kit, grab this one. 36.6 inches by 25.6 inches. 93 centimeters by 65 centimeters. This will have a bees in it at least. So the code. Yeah, so it's just a nice piercing. And it just has depth. I, I love it. Yeah, foreground, it's kind of shaded. And seagulls. It's kind of anime inspired. It's from like an anime artist. Uh, Hiro Tanikawa. Tanikawa. But sorry if I said that real. Yeah, it's square drills, obviously. Okay, so that's one of them. At least I'm an art club pads these really nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a small little kitty. Okay. Alright. And around Gnome and Friends. Yeah, this is one of the gnome ones. Uh, 17 inches by 26 inches, 42.6 centimeters by 65.8. This one will have A B's in it too. Alright, it's just a gnome. It's kind of fall. Yeah, leaves are falling. I just like, I love garden gnomes, so. Yeah. I'm that one. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably gap buying canvases now. <laughs> really need to finish a couple before I keep buying. <laughs> So, but yeah, this uh, Colors of Life is a little older canvas, so yeah, it's just kind of going back. To older part of my stash, so yeah, that's good. I like the large canvases, of course. So. It's keep me busy, and the artwork, uh, I love the artwork. So I did a little show and tell there. So, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we'll fill in these cookies a bit. Okay, it's basically shading. I think this color is in the brown family. It just seems like it's a lighter brown. Yeah, this is coming to life really nicely. I like this canvas. <laughs> uh, promise I'll put more uh, drills on adhesive now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I never looked in the shipping box <laughs> they caught last night. Just kind of brought it over to the. Uh, drafting table. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's not too many gnome uh, themed canvases on Diamond Art Club, but yeah. That's between gnome carolers and uh, that. That was kind of appealing. There was like a gnome couple. That was really colorful, but yeah, I've just kind of like, eh, just, yeah, it looks awesome, but it's just, yeah, kinda, I just like gnomes, like, doing their thing, kind of in their environment, just 
hanging out. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I I just find gnomes to just be year round kind of individuals. <laughs> that obviously was like a fall scene, the gnome that I have from DAC that I showed you. But I don't know, just chill them with a swallow or a, a chickadee. It's a chickadee or small bird. Yeah, nice cheery little bird. No, I'm just having a good time. <laughs> I don't know, even though gnomes have like big, big noses, the hats, and like large beards. I don't know, they just. They just seem very chill. <laughs> it's having a good time. So. Lots of smaller canvas too, but it just looks like it works for what the subject is. So nice cheery little canvas. Yeah, I hadn't done a landscape for a bit, so yeah. Just doing the the colors of life by Chuck Pinson from Dreamer Designs. Yeah, see how that goes. Yeah, Diamond Art Club just released Chuck Pinson's uh, The Colors of Life. Yeah. Yeah. That's a Black Friday kind of release, I think. Yeah. So. Yeah, if you do want The Colors of Life, now you can get it from Diamond Art Club. Yeah, because Chuck Pinson's officially licensed with Diamond Art Club, so he gave us permission to, uh, for Diamond Art Club to render his work into a canvas, onto a canvas, so, yep, Colors of Life, fairly impressive, yeah, that was a tricky angle to show you, the box, but, yeah, that's where Dreamer Designs puts their, uh, pictures <laughs> so. no it's all good as long as you've seen it I might have shown it when I first got it a couple of years ago <laughs> but yeah I'll unbox it of course and all that <laughs> yeah that all I always do a detailed unboxing no matter what kit it is So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, fine soft day from uh, Dreamer Designs turned out. Yeah, that was a highly sought after canvas for a while there. <laughs> that was probably the biggest one I had done so far at that point. Yeah, that one took me a bit. But... Pretty cool canvas though. Yeah, turned out well. So I have a couple more dreamer design canvases, but yeah. Just kinda spread them out. So trying to do a variety, so <laughs> Diamond Painting Company, so, yeah, see how that goes, <laughs> of course I have a lot of Diamond Art Club, but yeah, just want to do back-to-back -back Diamond Art Clubs all the time, so, there may be an instance where I might have to, but, yeah, well, just try to get some variety in the mix so, I'll try to thin out the stash here but yeah they're 
are just canvases lately that has just been released and they're just like yeah this one's really cool <laughs> it's like yes definitely want this one <laughs> kind of thing it's like i really shouldn't but mm, might disappear <laughs> Yeah, the Moon Thief, I believe. Yeah, I kind of looked at that one and bought it. And I'm glad I did. Because, uh, yeah, it was limited edition. <laughs> I believe I have that one. So, glad I made that decision. <laughs> that just would have been a bummer. No, oh, just sometimes it's just not meant to be, so... You don't end up with a canvas. So. Okay. Uh, the wax is being finicky again. A lot more of this pin symbol than I originally anticipated, but that's fine. It, it is a brown, so yeah, these cookies are shades of brown and possibly yellow. Yeah, there's yellow in the. It's how the light's shining on them. So, do have multiple shades of color for three huge cookies. Well, it's the draggling size. They're smaller uh, creatures. So, it's kind of like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids kind of perspective here. Yeah, I have to play around with the wax on the tip of the pen here. Pretty fresh wax, but it's more coffee. <laughs> yeah, it was either a cat hair or one of my strands of hair that fell into my cup of coffee. I had to get rid of that. <laughs> and yeah, I'm appetizing. <laughs> It's just kind of like, oh, uh, that's a hair, isn't it? <laughs> Boo. <laughs> All right, shade in the cookies here. Yeah, some pin symbol. Yeah, there's color blocks down here. This is kind of... Anybody have plans for New Year's? Um, it's just another midnight for uh, my family and myself. So, <laughs> or if I'm like even at work, like I'm not sure what's happening with New Year's at my full time. Oh, I'm still in days. Like, oh. Still in days this weekend. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't really affect me. I'm there till like 7 p.m. that day. So I don't know. Maybe it's been figured out like it's this weekend, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> when does the year end? <laughs> December. 
31st, usually. I think December has 31 days. Wow, looked at a calendar for like a long time and yeah, just don't remember. <laughs> February is the shortest month with 28 days. Yeah. There's some sort of rhyme for like how many days is in each month. Yeah, expect me to remember that? Nah, not going to happen. <laughs> Not this guy. <laughs> Derp. Mm. That would just take repetitive memorization and seeing that like quite a few times to nail that rhyme down. Calendar song or whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed Canvas Show and Tell. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't do a tremendous amount of unboxings on the channel, but yeah, if I do purchase canvases, I definitely show the sticker on the front. <laughs> but when I do go to work on a canvas, I do a detailed unboxing. So, that's the way I do it. So see a tremendous amount of unboxing on here but just every once in a while after I finish the whip that I'm working on so it'll be a while again so yeah <laughs> there are plenty of uh, fellow diamond painter creators content creators here on YouTube that unbox a lot so where I get my fix from unboxing so <laughs> watching unboxing it's all good there's someone somewhere that just yeah gets new releases gets to preview them and yep shares them with everybody so that's highly appreciated by the way even though I probably wouldn't like get some of the canvases but yeah it's just nice to hey here's what's in this kit here's how it looks you want to buy it now <laughs> you inspired to get it <laughs> okay I think we shaded in the cookies with this pin symbol so just filling in the floor down here yeah it's amazing where color can be used in multiple locations okay just make sure there's not a pin symbol okay a and s and then left facing arrows yeah still have a couple more symbols yeah the pregnant stick symbols in this canvas yeah that's what yeah it's a fairly popular um, identification nick oh nickname oh excuse me <laughs> hiccups or something okay <laughs> all right there's just a patch down here Play some for him. 23 minutes already. Oh boy. I had way too much fun with uh, show and tell. <laughs> Playing with the wax on my pen here. It's like, jeez. <laughs> Jeff, diamond pink. Oh. <laughs> oh, seriously. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm so sorry. I'm sharing today. So sorry. Okay, ugh. Alright, cool. Yeah, me just talking for like half an hour in front of a canvas. It's about random stuff. <laughs> Not placing a drill. <laughs> Woo! That would be... Oh, that'd be very naughty. Oh. Yeah, WIP is short form for work in progress, if I don't mention it. Yeah, I, I usually don't, but yeah, I can just provide 
the definition of whip for you. Every once in a giggle. Yeah, I hadn't whip in chat yet. <laughs> Work in progress. Okay. That should be in like my introduction, but yeah. <laughs> oh, and a couple more pins over here. Okay, that might be it. Yep. Shading is incredible, even for like chocolate chip cookies. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Stragglings certainly like their uh, desserts. Alright, so that's 3826, hopefully. Oh, let's take one last look. <laughs> Pour the drills back in and then I just find a symbol of that that I just finished. Yeah, 3826. Sure, they're going back into the right container too. That'd be a giggle. Okay, there we go. That go back in. Okay. Cool. Oh. Good weapon shot. I did like one color. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, what's next? Uh, yeah, this uh, red left facing kind of pointed triangle arrow thing. Okay, I think that's 498. Yep, looks like it. Alright, where's 498? This will be a very brief cameo. Way more than I need, but yeah, it's all good. Probably like the tip of the book. Yeah, it's part of the book, I think. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, a nice red to kind of sum up this whip and chat here. Okay. Wow. Uh, really picked up a drill there. Good job. Yep, part of the book. Yep. It's like the back cover. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes you place drills and like figure out what exactly an element is in the canvas, and then once you fill it in, it's like, oh, it makes a lot more sense now. It's all good. That's the case with chalk pinsons, like elements like reveal themselves as you place the drills. And when you finish the section, you just look at it overall. See it filled in, and it's like, oh, okay, so that's what it was. Oh, there was a bird there or an animal there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you get those nice little surprises with chalk pinsons. He, he likes putting seagulls in or like little animals in. Bunnies sometimes. And yeah, birds. Okay, there's like that. One of those up here. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, just a nice little brief cameo of that. Uh, S is theoretically next. Okay, brief. Yeah, it's kind of spread out through the site. Yeah, it's uh, definitely on the cookies, so, yeah. Okay. They capital S out, but yeah, we're nearing the end point here. This weapon jet. Okay. Oh, where's that? <laughs> Holy cow, I could be looking. Oh, 976. But yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put uh, main website links for Conqueror and Pacer. They're just uh, incentives to be active, kind of apps, websites that I do naturally every day because I aim for uh, 10,000 steps minimum every day. So, yeah, totally optional. I'm not uh, partnered or affiliated or sponsored with Conquer or Pacer. 
I uh, just kind of put that down in the description for you to look at if you're curious. Uh, yeah, any updates for the channel, like Echoes of Color here, I just post on YouTube from now on. I no longer have social media, so. Yeah, it is kind of hijacked, so. Yeah, hence no social media. Probably won't get it again. Because of that, so. Alright, but other than that, it's all good. So any kit ups, or if I complete this section, eventually, yeah, I'll just post it on YouTube. It'll be under the community tab on uh, my channel page. Everybody has a channel page if they're a content creator or, yeah. If you just have an account on YouTube, I think you have a channel page. Kind of like a profile on YouTube. But anyway, take care. All the best with your crafting endeavors. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.